Welcome back friends, Kyle here and today, well I'm excited for this video because I believe I found a budget version of the Commandante C40. In fact, this may be, in my opinion, the best budget hand grinder that money can buy currently. Now this right here is the Easy Presso Q2, but it's not the normal Q2. You see, this is the international version that is only available in certain areas, but I, through a Patreon support, have found a place where most people can get it. And this grinder has a very similar burst style to the Commandante C40. So the question I'm pondering today, is this a $100 C40? Does it compete with the Commandante? And is this a good alternative to spending $350 on a hand grinder with similar results? We're gonna dive all into that. We're gonna do some blind taste tests and at the end of this video, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to answer that. But before we dive into this, if you could do me a huge favor, a really easy way to support this channel is to, instead of clicking that like button, tamp it. All right, and then let me know in the comments if you tamp that like button by writing TAMP Squad. Let me know if you're in the TAMP Squad and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We are on the journey to 50,000 subscribers. Let's dive into this. What is this grinder all about? Like I already mentioned, this is the Q2 from Easy Presto and this is their budget friendly version of their other grinders. In the past, I reviewed some of their hand grinders like the K Plus, the J Max, uh, the JX, and uh, even the JX Pro I've talked about in past videos. This is cheap cheaper than all of those grinders, has a smaller capacity of 20 grams in the hopper, which can be a deal breaker for some, but uses a full aluminum body, um, uses 38 millimeter burrs, which I'm gonna show you in a second, because that's really what makes this grinder special, has a fully premium experience with even a really nice uh, wooden handle, little ball handle that I actually really, really satisfying to look at. and. It just works really well. I, I like this grinder. It feels very nice in the hand. It's probably the smallest grinder that I own. So what is this? What makes this so different? Now, as you can see here, these burrs are not identical, but very similar. Now, both of these use a, a similar design. Now, uh, Commandante, by the way, was the one to really engineer and craft this design. Now, this grinder, why this is so significant, why this is so important, is uh, the C40 is known to be a coffee grinder that produces fantastic filter coffee. It has great sweetness, good clarity, and some good complexity, too. It's kind of like the most well-rounded coffee grinder that I've used for filter coffee. And this grinder, the Q2, well, they've essentially kind of copied that. You know, I wouldn't say that companies should do that, but I mean, not everyone can afford a Commandante C40. So I'm kind of torn here. There are grinders that have tried to attempt this, even in the K Plus. That is not even close to how similar these are. Now that's also because some of these other grinders actually have bigger burrs. Uh, maybe they've tried some different designs. Now a pretty important note here, Commandante calls this their nitro, nitro blade and that's essentially a high nitrogen, high alloy metal that they use for this, which essentially they don't need to coat this. That will play into the results that we get in our cup because the metal will have a different density than something like, like this. Now this right here uses a stainless steel. That being said, this is no slouch. And honestly, in my testing, it's pretty, pretty close. We're gonna grind some coffee in just a second and I'm gonna do a blind taste test to see if I can tell the difference. This Q2 though is an international model and it can only be found in certain countries. And I don't know exactly what countries those are. Somebody's gonna tell me I'm an idiot down in the comments and tell me what countries those are. I couldn't find that out, but I know here in Canada, in North America, you can't find this. Um, you can't even reach out to Easy Press so they won't send you one directly anymore. I think there was a time where they did that. But now, there was a Patreon supporter who actually reached out to me and, and sent me a link where you can actually buy this grinder on AliExpress. But I will leave a link down below if you want to check that out. It's not an affiliate link, but uh, if you're interested in this grinder, by the end of this video, that'll help you out. Why would you consider the Commandante if this brews similar coffee? Well, first of all, this is a different quality of build. The Commandante C40, they're hand built in Germany by people who really care about the fine details. It's the classic, it is the staple of hand grinding. They will last for a long time, these high quality parts. And most importantly, especially in this comparison, it has a bigger volume for beans that you can grind. This one you can grind 40, 45 grams, no problems. The Q2 though, I will say is vastly impressive, especially for the price. Like all Easy Presso grinders, it uses a full metal build. Uh, this one's aluminum. I don't love their branding, if I'm honest. That's something I've said in the past. They, they just need to kind of get rid of this and 
just let it be. Even the internals of this grinder are all aluminum. There's no plastics. There's no parts that'll move under use, especially keeping that axle centered for alignment. It's super important. Okay, that's enough talking. Let me brew some coffee and we'll dive more into this. Now to brew this coffee today, I'm gonna to be cupping them with 12 grams of coffee to 200 grams of water. And I'm gonna be using Third Wave Water, which is actually the sponsor of today's video. So let me tell you about them real quick. Now, Third Wave Water is the best solution to having consistent coffee no matter where you go. Right now, I'm brewing in Canada. You're brewing wherever you are watching this video. And we probably have very different water solutions, but the best way to ensure we have the exact same results and you can experience what I'm tasting is with a consistent product like Third Wave Water. Now, this, the way to use this is uh, taking a little packet like these. This is their classic profile. They've got their dark roast and their espresso profile too, which helps uh, protect your boilers from scale. And you add this to like a gas gallon of demineralized water like distilled or reverse osmosis. Once you've done that, you mix it up and add this to your kettle, your espresso machines, and it is the perfect solution to great coffee water. Right here, I'm using my filter one, and for me, it helps elevate some acidity, some clarity, it brings a lot of brightness to the coffee that otherwise the water here in Ottawa, it's very soft, like very soft, 30 parts per million. It just doesn't help with that. Definitely check out Third Wave Water. If you haven't tried it out, I've got you covered. 15% off if you use link in the top of the description or go to thirdwavewater.com and use code kyle15 for 15 percent off your first order okay because i know you guys love these so much let's do a blind taste test i'm gonna have natasha come in here and swap these i will not see what happens and then we'll see if we can guess let's see if we can get this From what I can take up, this one's got a little more clarity. Uh, this one's a little more, a little more sweetness. I think this one is the C40, and this one is this guy right here, the Q2 from Easy Presso. But honestly, they're pretty close. I'm not confident in this. Okay, so this is actually the C40, and this is the Easy Presso. So honestly, I wasn't confident they're that similar. So far, I haven't got a. a cupping wrong so this is the first time for that which is kind of embarrassing but it does go to show you uh, these are fairly similar i mean for me if i'm giving you my honest feedback from my experience my palate these coffees the c40 it's definitely more well-rounded less bitterness in this cup uh, a lot more clarity this one here is so close though probably produces a little more um, inconsistency and in fine so you're getting a little more complexity uh, in this cup here there's a little bit more stringency but it's so close okay so let's wrap this up you know the q2 really is high value is it a common nut dc40 no it's not you know the value the quality that goes into these grinders is in my opinion unmatched and this will forever be one of my favorite grinders of all time but for somebody who wants to spend less money, who maybe just can't afford a grinder like the C40, right now they don't offer a budget-friendly option. This is the closest thing you're gonna get to it. The bird geometry is near identical. I think this is a great option if you wanna save some money. It's built very well. It does only have a 20 gram capacity, so that definitely should be taken into account. To me, it's actually fascinating that Easy Presto has an option that's like one third the price that produces cups almost as good. I don't know if that's intentional. Maybe that's why they're not sold everywhere, but it's interesting. But overall, man, I love this. I love what this industry is becoming. There's so much accessibility, approachability. And for me, that just gets me excited. Like I mentioned, I will be giving this away to one of my Patreon supporters who enables these videos to be completely unbiased and buy these with uh, my own money. But again, these are both great options. It doesn't replace the C40. I wouldn't sell the C40 for the Q2, but if you're looking to get a grinder, I'm all about value. It's really hard for me not to recommend a grinder like this. If you've watched this far in the video, let me know it down in the comments below by writing third wave grinding. Also hit that like button if you haven't yet already. Really appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't yet. All right, we will see you guys all in the next video. I love you all so, so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.